Oh, hey, what's going on? 66L right here. Yeah, I'm using this really cool microphone again. Uh, it does have a little better sound, and it seems like from you guys' comments, you said so too. So that's awesome. Just kind of a little update. I'm doing alright. Still stuck in bed. Everything's going good. Uh, main reason I brought this video to light today was to ask you guys a question. Oh, Ridge asked me, uh, Ridge97 asked me the other day what my favorite band of all time is or was. You know, I got to thinking about it, you know, about the music that I come up listening to and, and how my taste in music's changed over the years and how I kind of go back and forth. Um, you know, and of course, I want you guys to leave some comments and we'll have some discussions over this. It'll be kind of cool. Curious to know what you guys uh, come up listening to. Now, I listened to, uh, of course, when I was a kid in the 70s. You know, I was born in 1970. And uh, from the time I was like five or six, we had one of those big console stereos in the house. You know, I had the record player and the 8-track in it and the AM FM radio on it. I don't even think it was before cassettes. And, uh, of course, we were the last one on the block to get a cassette player or microwave and VHS. You know, last ones usually because we weren't didn't have a lot of money growing up. But, uh, anyway, I remember going through my stepdad's old albums and my mom's albums. And the first album I can remember listening to was uh, Moody Blues. And, of course, you know, to this day, I'm still a big Moody Blues fan. I love their music. And uh, I've got all their music on CDs, you know, that I bought over the years. And uh, so it was Moody Blues, Roger Whitaker, Hank Williams Sr., and Elvis. Those are the ones that basically came to my mind, you know, and the Beatles. Um, my stepdad had, uh, the, I think it's the first U.S. release called Meet the Beatles. And, uh, you know, I love loved that, that music, you know, when I was a young kid. And, and then... Uh, as I got a little bit older and, you know, ran around with kids, you know, when I was 12, 13 years old, um, it was all about Slayer. They were brand new in, like, 81, and it was about Slayer and Metallica and and uh, all the heavy stuff. And then uh, probably about 83 or so, I got into punk. I played, I used to play in punk bands ever since I was 13 years old and uh, then got into metal in the mid-late 80s, but uh, I went through a good phase of listening to some hardcore punk, you know, with True Sounds of Liberty, The Dead Kennedys, Jerry's Kids, uh, Jody Foster's Army, uh, DOA, you know, and a bunch of bands like that, but, uh, you know, the punk didn't last too long, Suicidal Tendencies was another big one that I liked, and then, uh, you know, I got into the heavy metal, uh, in 87 I heard Sepultura, um, Brazilian metal, um, that just blew me away, you know, so then I got into the more technical metal and stuff and I kind of went back and forth but my roots have always been around country music and you know Elvis and the Beatles and and those are the ones you know that uh, I can remember first listening to the Moody Blues and um, I think I had a couple comedy albums my stepdad had uh, Steve Martin's Will Excuse Me comedy album and uh, what else did he have it was Roger Miller I think it was and then he had a Bobby Bear album but, you know, these are ones that I, you know, kind of cut my teeth on listening to as a kid. And, you know, I went through many years of listening to just hard rock and metal and uh, not much for popular music. You know, I didn't really ever tune into the radio too much because uh, you'd hear the same songs four or five times a day and you get burnt out on, you know, Aerosmith's Dream On or you know, Leonard Skinner songs that you hear just way too much. They burn them into the ground. But uh, anyway, Ridge, you got my, my mind wandering and you got my my brain going there with some old music that I used to listen to so I was pulling up some uh, YouTube videos earlier today and uh, watched a Moody Blues concert um, from like 1967 or 1968 when they were still pretty young on the scene and uh, in fact some of the equipment they were using was the Who's sound gear and uh, that was pretty cool some kind of outdoor festival I can't remember what it was called but uh, it was really cool so yeah I kinda just go back and forth to it I don't listen to too much hard and heavy metal. I don't like any modern, uh, what I guess you would consider, consider metal now, uh, the modern metal. You know, I'm still stuck on Sabbath and Maiden and Priest and those kind of bands. But uh, anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And also, don't forget, you can find my t-shirts over at 66hellride.spreadshirt.com. And I will uh, go ahead and shut this video off now and uh, I'll have some discussions on this. Let me know what you guys grew up listening to. Or what you like listening to now?